Oh my. Hey everyone, it's Daphne. I was having trouble getting the record button to actually register, but I think we're all good now. We're on page seven, page seven. So this again is gonna look a lot like page six. So it's gonna have a beautiful two page spread. However, the flap sizes are different. So let me tell you what you're gonna start with. You're gonna start with a six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the six and a half inch side. All right, then we are going to, once it's folded over, we're gonna put a tick mark right at three and then we're gonna go from the corner to the three inch mark and that's how you're gonna get your slope. So let's go ahead and add that. It's gonna go on the left-hand side, which is toward the spine. And the short side's gonna be down. I better make sure I'm not putting it in upside down, which is one of the reasons I number the page so I can use it as a reference for orientation as well as sequence. There we go. Yep. Okay, so this is the lovely photo um, designer paper that I picked out. And this one's gonna go fast because already made all the decisions on page six so page seven is really just an implementation of it didn't look like I had ink but I do um, I'm using mahogany and I'm sure I've mentioned that a time or two throughout the series but I thought I'd let you know one more time these are the two pages I actually finished or designed at the retreat this weekend And for those of you interested, my next album is going to be Sonora. It's gonna be that desert collection, okay? I also know there's not gonna be a need for a magnet placement here, so we can go ahead and lay this down, but it does need ink. By the way, this technique of starting from the center and going to the edge um, really extends the life of your um, powder puff because those corners actually wind up digging into the sponge. Beautiful, beautiful. We can go ahead and put this in. And we're gonna hold off on the black because I know I'm gonna put a magnet over here somewhere. Let's work on our frame. Let me set this aside. So I did the same thing. So this started with a five by seven, and then I did a cutout of um, a four by six in the center. And I was, I didn't worry about precision. What I did is I have a ruler. I just laid it down and I used that as the, the um, width. If you guys wanna do a one inch or whatever is easy, uh, easier for you to do that, do a cut out of that. Then we're going to put um, essentially this pocket on the back of it and that becomes our insert located space. So this um, pocket is, and I'll call it a frame pocket, is uh, six by seven and a half, six by seven and a half. We're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides to make our pocket.
This would be a great spot back here for journaling. So can you imagine um, having a photo in your frame? I'm just gonna demonstrate for a second. Having a photo in your frame, and then as you lift your photo, behind it is uh, the journaling information about the photo. So I kind of like that idea. Or it could be a second photo. Okay. Yeah, okay. I had to look at the orientation of my page to make sure I was doing it right. So the black is gonna be on the left-hand side. And I think I'll go ahead and lay the frame down and then add the decorative paper. This doesn't feel very heavy. I'll go ahead and add this. So um, I am gonna do a little color blocking between these two patterns. So I'm gonna lay one side down and then I'll trim the other side to fit. And I haven't inked it yet, so I'll do that real quick as well. Or have I? No, I haven't. I'm gonna lay the orange side down and then trim the other side. And I'm gonna wind up taking just a tiny sliver off a sixteenth of an inch to allow for there to be a slight gap between the orange and the black designer papers. I hope everybody's doing well. We had just the weirdest weather this week. It was 100 degrees for two days and then it dropped down to the 60s. That's really weird. It was, it was a welcome relief, but it was very strange. So I don't know what's going on with our weather this, this year. And then once we get this frame done, then we can locate it on the flap and then install our magnets. Marvin. Okay. okay. That's how much I took off, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. Now, of course, if you don't want to be bothered with that, you just bump them right together, right? So you have uh, you know, the option to do either one. That looks like it's gonna do it. Yeah. I need to re-ink that edge. Grief. Can't figure it, figure that out. A little too much glue. Be careful not to glue your uh, photo pocket down.
There we go. Okay, let's bring this page back in. Okay. Now this flap is smaller than, um, it's not, the flap on page six is wider at the bottom than this one is. So I'm not gonna have my frame go as far out as, um, like the other one I had this corner match it. So I'm not gonna do that on this one, I'm gonna move it over. And what I'm looking for is just trying to get that natural V uh, look right here. And I, and I like that. So and it's gonna be centered on the flap top to bottom. I'm going to draw my reference line so I know where to put my glue and also where to put my frame when I'm done. There we go. Make sure your opening is toward the top. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got a little extra pencil, so I'm gonna try to take that off. Everything else looks all right. Okay, now we're ready to put our magnet in. So this should fit, but I'm going to double check. Yep, it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna put some glue down. That black tape is there because I cut through this paper on the wrong angle and I taped it back together. And then once it's glued down, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, I cut my slope wrong. I wasn't paying attention. page six and see okay it doesn't have to be the same but I'm going to keep it consistent provided I have a piece of that paper which I'm pretty sure I do I don't really want to cut into a 12 by 12 if I don't have to but it looks like I need to. Nope. Oops. Or maybe I have to pick an alternate because maybe I don't have any. Large enough, anyway. Yep, I'm gonna have to pick an alternate, looks like. That was my last 
decent sized piece. Okay, I'm gonna take a break, find uh, something I like, and I'll be right back. Well, I'm still trying to get reorganized from uh, coming back from the retreat, but I did find, I knew I had some more of this paper. I was like, it can't all be small pieces. So we're good. So I'm back to the same sort of pattern flow as we had on page uh, six. And we are wrapping up now on page seven. It looks like we're good to go. Now, if you're not big on frames, the cutout frames like I've been using in this project, all of those can uh, easily be replaced with just photo mats. So each one of those just could be a single photo mat um, with designer paper laying on it. Um, so it's really, you've got some options there if you don't want to fuss with it. something to stick in the pocket. It's probably not what's going to stay in the pocket, but just so you can see it before we leave this page. So that's the end of page seven. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Okay. I'll be back soon, guys. <laughs>